All right. Well, we're going to do the warm up now. Um, here in the main method, do the following. Let's do it. Create an int array that has a random number of elements between 6 and 15 inclusive. So first of all, the length of this will be 15 minus 6 plus 1. So 15 minus 6 is 9, plus 1 is 10. What we'll do is say int array nums equals new int. And then inside here, we're going to do int math.random times 10 plus 6. It's got to be uh, Okay, so we created it. Randomly set each element to either one or two at a 50 50 rate. All right, so we're going to do a for loop. And i equals zero, i less than num dot length, i plus plus. If int math dot random times two. Uh, equals zero. That's going to be equal equal to either zero or one at a fifty fifty rate. Uh, nums i equals one. Let's see, two. Uh, I'll say one. Yeah, one. Else, nums i equals two. Okay, so that's that. Create a string array, same size as your int array. String array, str stirs equals new string nums.length. Remember, length doesn't have a, uh, doesn't, for an array, it doesn't have parentheses after it. Use the values in the int array to set the values in the string array. So if it's a one, we put the word one. If it's a two, we put the word two. So we got to do a for loop for that. I equals zero, i less than nums.length, or strs.length, it doesn't matter. i plus plus, they're the same length, right? And we say if nums i equal equal one, stirs i equals one uh, else it can be right here stirs i equals two okay and then um and then print the arrays one with the index the value of the int one and the value of the other one so again a little for loop I equals zero, I less than nums dot length, I plus plus system dot out dot print. I'm gonna do print one, just do it all in one print call. Uh, we're gonna print I plus two spaces plus nums I plus Spaces plus strs i. That's how to do it. Let's see. And I'm looking everywhere where there's a two. It says two. Otherwise, it says a one. It looks good to me. Um. Uh, yeah, I think that, that'll do it. 